get tough. Suck it up. Get tough. People want to have success. People want to make a lot of money, but they want it to be easy without any challenges. Do you think it was easy for me to become one of the top 450 basketball players in the world that you never heard of? The only way I made it to the NBA is I was fundamentally sound, I was mentally tough, and I never quit. And even when I wanted to quit, I had people in my life that would make sure I didn't quit. I hired and, and set out the top 10 motivational speakers, watched all their videos, and I watched them one by one because I understand that if I pay attention to what the best are doing, I could be the best too. I watched game film on Michael Jordan. No matter how much I watched, I couldn't do what Michael Jordan can do. I would watch Magic Johnson. I couldn't do what Magic Johnson would do, but I sat there and had these videos. I watched Les Brown, Zig Ziglar, Tony Robbins, but my wife was scared. I was scared. I called him to my office and I said what a husband say. I said, babe, we're going to be okay. Every month the checking account is dreadful. I said, babe, we're going to be okay. Let's start a motivational speaking business. I go to Jerry Sloan and I say, Jerry, I'm trying to make your team, but since we don't scrimmage, I feel like I can't show you what I can do. Go to Corral, hear me clearly. Listen to his answer, and it will unlock some mysteries as to how you become the best in the world at what you do over a long period of time. Jerry, I'm trying to make your team, but I feel like I can't show you what I can do. He says, Walter, I already know what you can do, but if you want to make my team, I suggest you listen, follow directions, and execute. Listen, follow directions, and execute. What I didn't realize, even though we didn't scrimmage in practice, throughout practice, we did drills, and he created what I call habits and rituals. Every single day, practice was the same. Every single day, we drilled on fundamentals. Every single day, we worked on habits and rituals. So even though my mind was floating, even though I was selfish and self-centered, he was conditioning me into the culture through practice of habits and rituals. The reason why I tripled my NBA income in three years is because of habits and rituals. Next year, if your name didn't get called to come across the stage, I'm here to tell you they will call your name next year if you go back home and execute habits and rituals. I wanted to scrimmage for me, but Jerry Sloan was getting me ready to play for the Utah Jazz. So every day, it was about habits and rituals. Having hot food is about habits and rituals. Great customer service is about habits and rituals. Being the best in the world at what you do, being a pro, is all about habits and rituals. Let me tell you something. I learned a very valuable lesson when I played for the Utah Jazz. I had a point guard on my team who's arguably the best point guard in the history of the NBA. His name is John Stockton. John Stockton would go to a chiropractor four times a day on game day. You know what I said to myself? I'm not doing that. It doesn't take all that. John Stockton played 19 years in the NBA. I played three. You would have thought I'd have been smart enough to watch a Hall of Famer and just shut my mouth, hop in the car, and go with them. No! My mind said, yeah, it doesn't take all that. And I would tease him. Man, John Stockton, you uh, OCD or something? Why are you going to a chiropractor four times a day? He swore by his chiropractor. That man played point guard in the NBA until he was 40 years old. And he didn't retire because he got slow. He retired because he refused to wear baggy shorts. He loved his Daisy Dukes. Every day on game day, that man would go to a chiropractor four times a day. And in my immature basketball mind, I would say, eh, it doesn't take all that. I don't need to.